Welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that looks just like my hair. Just had to throw that out there. Just like my hair. This wig is from YGWigs.com. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I received is a 16 inch kinky straight. 150% density, 360 lace wig. The cap construction includes four combs and an adjustable strap. The front hairline did come pre-plucked and the knots in the front were bleached. One thing that I noticed about 360 wigs is if there is an adjustable strap in the back, you are able to see that adjustable strap when you wear your hair in high ponytails and high buns. It's 2022 and we want our hairlines to look as natural as possible. That means the hairline in the front as well as the hairline in the back. So in order to make it look as natural as possible, the front hairline has to match the back hairline and vice versa. No front hairline has an adjustable strap. So I'm just going to grab a seam ripper and I'm taking my time and unloosening the seam that is connecting that adjustable strap to the wig. Once the adjustable strap is fully removed from the wig, I'm just going to use my bleach and bleach the knots on the back hairline because that part in the back did not come bleached. So the next thing that I'm going to do is get rid of some of that extra density surrounding the hairline. I'm doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting to thin out the hairline so that it is more gradual. This step is always optional. Anything that I do to the front hairline, I will be doing to the back hairline. So after I'm finished thinning out the front hairline, I'm going to move the wig around so that the nape area is in the front. And I'm going to take my time and pluck those extra hairs from the back so that the back can look just as good. So now do you see why I chose to thin out the hairline a little bit more? It looks so much more natural. Let's chat all about this hairline down below in the comments. All right, so now that we're finished with the front, on to the back. And to refresh your memory a little bit, this is how the back hairline looked when I first took it out of the package. Here is how the back hairline is now looking now that the adjustable strap is removed as well as the knots are bleached. You cannot get the same look from the nape if the adjustable strap was there. The back hairline did not come pre-plucked, so it is going to take a little bit more of your time. It's going to take more effort and it's going to take more plucking to get the back hairline to thin out like the front hairline. But don't worry, it's all going to be worth it. So for a quick recap, this is how the back hairline looked after bleaching the knots, but before thinning the density. And this is how the back hairline looks after removing the adjustable strap, bleaching the knots, and thinning out the density. The back hairline is now identical to the front hairline, and I'm so, so, so excited about this install. Okay, so the next step is tinting the lace. I'm grabbing two colors of lace tint. The first one is the color of my foundation and I'm going to spray that along the outer portion of the 360. The next color of lace tint is the color of my scalp and I'll be spraying that on the inner portion of the 360 where my scalp will be. I'm going to spray two layers of each color of lace tint and then blow dry in between each layer. So 
So now I'm just going to lift up the hair and focus on the back hairline because I am going to create baby hairs back there. In a zigzag motion, I'm just going to separate where I want my flyaway baby hairs to be. Next, I'll be grabbing some blue perm rods and an eyebrow razor. Grabbing that eyebrow razor, I'm just gonna shave down the baby hairs so that they're shorter. Baby hairs are not perfect, so they do not have to be all one length. So today I'm going for a blown out twist out look. So I am going to use some perm rods so that the back baby hairs are not straight, but they're curly or kinky. For the sake of a neat install, I'm just going to use my pressing comb to smooth the hairline backwards. And this is basically just going to help me get a neater looking install. If I would not have smoothed the hairs backwards, there's a chance that some of the flyaways would have gotten into the adhesive and it would have been stuck down onto my face and just been looking really uh, unruly. So this is a quick tip. If you are installing a wig, it's always easier to smooth those hairs out of your face so that the install can lay flat onto your skin. So for today's look, I am doing the exact same twist out that I do for my own natural hair. I will show you guys how it comes out when I do my hair versus how it came out on the wig. And I think it looks identical. My family could not tell the difference. They thought it was my hair. I thought it was my hair. <laughs> so yes, it was definitely worth the effort to do. I always start this hairstyle with freshly blown out hair. I'm just going to grab a spray bottle of water and a gel of choice. I'm not spraying too much water on the hair because I don't want it to revert or uh, to not curl at all. So I just wanna spray a very minimal amount of water and then use a very minimal or small amount of that gel just to help it hold the shape. After detangling the section, I'm just gonna start cornrow twisting the hair followed by a twist. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm gonna use a perm rod to secure it. Typically for a more elevated, bigger curly fro look, I do do two loose twists at the top of the head where the crown is. And we're all done. I'm gonna allow the hair to air dry overnight. The following morning, I'm just gonna grab my scissors and cut off that extra lace. I'm using a straight pair of scissors in the back hairline portion of the wig. And in the front, I typically always use a zigzag pair of scissors to cut off the extra lace in the front. Okay, so now it's time to prep my skin for install. Grabbing some alcohol, I'm gonna clean off my forehead and then I'm gonna grab scalp protector from Walker Tape and apply that to my scalp. Grabbing the wig, I'm gonna place it upside down so that I have a very clear view of the under portion of the lace. I'm gonna spray some adhesive spray to the edge of the wig and then I am going to blow dry for about five to 10 seconds. Now that that adhesive spray is tacky, I'm gonna grab the wig, place it on my head in its proper placement, place my headscarf on for about 20 minutes and allow the lace to set. 20 minutes later, it is now time to remove those perm rods and those twists. Taking my time, I'm just gonna separate them. So I did end up getting too happy with the spray bottle of water towards the back of the wig. So the back of the wig 
was a looser uh, curl pattern than the front of the wig and that's because the hair was not fully dry. I do suggest if you do try this hairstyle and you do find that certain areas of the wig is not dry and other areas are, then to use a diffuser and to diffuse the hair so that it can be bigger and curlier. I was so obsessed with how natural this wig ended up coming out. I did do some baby hairs in the front and you will see the finished look in a second. Let's chat all about this hair down below in the comment section. I'm going to show you guys exactly how my hair looks when I do this hairstyle versus how this wig looks. I think it's an identical match. I love it. I love how natural it looks. I love how natural it flows. I love how it did adapt to this new curl pattern that I put in the hair. And I also love the fact that it is easy, easy enough for a beginner to do. The only thing that I would change is letting the hair fully air dry before styling or before removing the perm rods in the twist. Because the hair was not fully dry in all areas, certain areas are longer than others. The front hairline, I used a very, very small amount of water on the front and that's why it did not uh, take that long to dry and those are the tighter, the more tighter curls as opposed to the back. I did have fun styling this hair as well. Keep watching and let me know what your favorite hairstyle was. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to this wig from YG Wigs down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.